Hi Pisces, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and wow, you're number two in the row for getting your reading. Uh, you're the second place in getting your reading this week. This week it is the reading for the 29th till the 5th of July. So we're not, we are in Cancer, so um, we're going from Cancer, we, we're in the new zodiac sign, but we're now going into a new month. So lots of things are happening, we've got a new moon, uh, we've had the summer solace, um, and we are in Cancer, and you can really feel the energy of Cancer, more relaxed, the energy has changed, big time and I hope you like and at the end of the video I will do my information and my spiel but I just wanted to welcome you because I'm so excited Gemini reading was fantastic as well and I love this reading with working with the chakras I'm using the book um, tarot and the chakras and I'm just going to give you a little bit uh, of information but just before I start off because it's so big and it is so energetic feeling it's positive um, if you want more information then look at the description box below and click on that circle uh, white circle with the eye then you can f go to my website and you can also go to Brenda Tarot Readings because she is a Reiki master just like me but she's more practicing than I am uh, I do it privately and in my live sessions the healing things and I work with the chakras and my angelic chakra my uh, also my angelic chakras this is the standard normal classical uh, chakras like in Reiki okay so go and have a look because she's an awesome reader and we do work together we we read more or less like the same way we are so on balance in the frequency man it's flower power big time I love it I'm in the mood okay Pisces and she also is a Pisces so um, it's great to see that the uh, water energy is really dead on in the middle okay let's get started because I'm doing my nine card spread uh, this is the querent or the overall energy for the week then we have got Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and oh, I've got an other deck out um, those are my corner cards and I use the cards around it to clarify either the corner card or vice versa in each corner and then we have the um, that it this is the uh, the Shadowlands, one of my favorite decks, and my other favorite deck is the Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Shaman, Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Okay, let's get started. I love it. And if you are a, a steady follower of mine, then welcome back, my Cyber Angel. And oh, if you are new and just happen to land on this channel, it's not for nothing. Welcome to my channel and to the um, cyber family and if you would like to be a cyber angel then come in and join us in the life I go live I'll tell you later okay so listen right till the end and we start off with the page of cups and that is you that's why I'm so excited because the page represents Pisces so you're in your element this week Pisces so hopefully you will stay in your element hopefully you are happy now the page of don't exclude though the cancer and the Scorpio but you are the first on the list here okay okay so you might be over emotional with all these uh, uh, astrological changes taking place and also because we are in cancer it is an emotional sensitive nurturing loving and passionate time okay the page usually means getting news this could be news of love of course or passion or some kind of nurturing news just to somebody might be just sending you a message to let you know they love you or that they support you awesome 
on Monday we have the Two of Cups and that's just like the lovers to me. You're in balance. You are with your soulmate and you know it. You are emotionally balanced, although we are in a very emotional, psychic, um, uh, spiritual time. I can't even get my words out. I'm so excited. Okay, so if you're not, then get out of your head and get into action and go and find a friend to spend time with. A girlfriend. It doesn't have to be a lover. It, you have your soulmate, okay? And you know your soulmate. You love them two bits. So just go and take a cup out, a cup, uh, go out and get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with a friend today. Uh, hold on. Now we're going on to Wednesday and you've got the two of swords so you've got a double number the angels are with you woohoo and here you um, have shut yourself off like i said a soulmate is not only a partner but it is a person that you love and they love you you think the same you are have it's the same interests uh, you don't have to finish each other's sentences. You work with emotions and the eyes, uh, visions, okay? So take off that blindfold and get connected with your soulmate. Go out and have a cup of coffee. Open your solar plex, open your heart. Let the emotions in. When you take that blindfold off and you throw away those swords, you can see what is around you and where your soulmate is. Get out of your head. Get these new ideas going. Come into motion. Be emotional and have a laugh. You are awesome to have a crack with. Hmm. You can. You've got a wonderful sense of humor. Okay, let it flow. That's all I can say. Let it flow and let it go. And on Friday, you have the six of cups. And you're not only getting together with your soulmate, but with more friends. And somebody might be coming back from the past. This could be your soulmate. Okay. And they will be bringing you a gift, most probably. This could be news, as you have the Page of Pentacles just above it. Okay. This could be news of love. This could be happy, happy news. The reading so far is happy, so I think it will be good news. Okay, you might be reminiscing about the past from your childhood and the parties you had, like birthday parties. Anyway, at the weekend, you have a three of wands. Your ship is coming in. Abundance. This could be love, like I said, or this could be work. This could be a promotion, as you are getting news. Now, on Friday, you are in balance because you've got a six, and at the weekend, you are being creative, as you have the three. Now, you've got the king of pentacles in the corner. That means you might see a return and get the news on an investment you made as the King of Pentacles has the meters touch, the golden touch, anything he does, invests or does, aha, will turn to gold and will be positive. Yeah, so that could be the message. You're seeing a return in one of your investments or your hard work paying off. That could be investments of money. That could be investment of love. That could be your investment uh, of your work okay so your boats are coming in you're receiving the news and you're back in balance you might be forming a partnership you might have invested in time to get together with your soulmate and form a partnership as you were uh, think the same way you feel the same way you might even enjoy the same product that you're selling and you have the ace of pentacles it's going it's a transformational time look at all the butterflies yes you are going to gold you are going for gold 
boom it's going to last for a long time and it has durability you can touch something and that is durable the transformation isn't only mentally but it's physically it is going in there and doing it wow F partnerships news and you have opened your heart you feel stable because you've got two two the angels are with you but you are together that is the word I'm hearing together you have come together together you stand strong now you have found your balance you've got temperance it could also be with a fire sign you've got the ones here so perhaps they are coming back and bringing abundance with them and bringing the balance back to form a business partnership Wow take your time though you have taken your time so far and it you have kept yourself in balance go forth and stay in balance your ships are coming in news of balance and abundance is coming in okay could be somebody from the past could be a Sagittarius the last card in the spread is the world something is coming full circle boom right in your face the world is your oyster awesome you might be moving your business to a new premises that you might be expanding you might be going up a next level in the business or at work you might get a promotion and that is why you are reaching now the status of the king and you're going to earn more money you're going to expand whoops or you might be going on holiday to a warm country because you've got so much yellow in your reading okay you might uh, move your relationship from just soulmate to the ultimate soulmate a partnership okay you might be going to get married if you're engaged you're going to get married if you're married you might be getting a family starting the family as this also means new beginnings this could be a birth Wow and the ace also means a birth that could be the news that you're pregnant Wow awesome I love the energy Pisces and you're in your element you've got so much water in your reading look it doesn't mean water okay temperance but you can see the jugs and that is pouring out water so don't look at the words don't look at the basic meanings of things but look into the picture you've got a lot of water the sea in the world so that is awesome now before I take the card and I've picked the um, all over energy or the queer and card for the chakra card I'm going to read the tree of life now the tree of life for me also means intertwined look it is intertwined with the each other this tree is intertwined intertwined means family being with family intertwined with family emotions you have roots you might be getting emotionally intertwined with your family's roots here you see a family or friends so you are might be forming a family like I said you might want to start getting pregnant or um, uh, uh, extending in the family and you've got number 58 which is 13 so that means in the I Ching fellowship more friends more family it getting intertwined with other people's friends family okay 
Now the tree um, of life means also growing. You are constantly growing and you're blooming like the tree does every year. It's the time of year now that you are going to bloom and look at the ace and the status of the king of pentacles. You are growing, you have invested in yourself. You're getting recognition. The tree of life is sacred symbol throughout the Americas. Its deep roots reach into the lower world. The unconscious with the branches reach to the heavens. The source of destiny to be whole in your life's journey. It is important to have deep roots and have branches. Yes, to maintain stable and balanced, you have to have secure roots. You have to know where you feel safe and at home. And high branches. A tall tree with shallow roots falls into the first wind, but a tree with deep roots can weather any storm. So you might be the roots or the, 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 the family head and you're keeping it together. You know how to invest physically, mentally and emotionally. Especially when you have so many water cards which means spirituality as well. The task or the invitation is to find health and balance in your life. Balance. Reflect on how you dance with your actions and thoughts and your feelings. And the tree obviously in the Lenormand means health. If you are too much in your thinking head or in the world of fantasies and daydreaming, connect more with your roots and physical body. If you are caught in mechanical mechanical doing and you are feeling stuck, not able to imagine a better life for yourself, open yourself to be inspired by the heavens the world, the heavens, the cosmos, you can see it all there. Let your roots and branches be aligned with your heart's longing. And that could be any of these, especially the two of cups, your heart's longing, love, completion, balance, being together and never alone. But remember, you are never alone because the angels and the divine is with you. Now I've got the page of water, right? And I'm going to use my book because it's a lot of information and we've got signs here. Now the triangle downwards means the secretal chakra. Okay, and that's what you can see here in the book. And this is the symbol of touch and I'll get back to that in a minute again the um, sign of the secretal chakra so you've got double secretor chakra and the chakra sign okay now the water the water the water chakra means abundance and it's Mars, the planet Mars. Okay. Sorry, no, it's... Uh, sorry, let's have a look. I've got to go back. Um, the, loc um, uh, the location of the chakra is the lower abdomen. It's like the uterus. When, a ba when you're pregnant, you have water. All, um, also, all the lymph nodes anything where there is water or fluid that is the water sacra chakra it's also the um, secretal chakra is also rebirthing new beginnings right also sexuality and sensuality with all this water sign is going to be a very sexy time or sensual time or sexy time. 
the color is orange from the chakra focalization is van and uh, the symbol is moon with the six petals that's the lotus the planet moon okay in Sanskrit it's called Swadhisthana Swadhisthana the main functions, uh, functions are provides sense of self and emotion your spirituality and the quality is centering now uh, also I've got to see the sign at uh, the oval sign like I showed you just now that means light or of the body and it's fixed okay but I don't know anything about the symbols of touch and once I've learned all this then I will go into that into touch okay but you are trying to center yourself maintaining balance now we have the page of water so that is in the tarot Pisces okay news of love passion anything okay the attributes of the page of water has a very youthful energy yes youth usually around the 15 16 17 years to around 21 he or she may represent the beginning of a romance he or she is flirtatious and affectionate he or she is idealistic the page of water is filled with expectations of love and intimacy woohoo I love it um, on the downside he or she is hypersensitive and delusional so it's just as well we haven't got the magician here otherwise it could be highly sensitive or delusional the advice is ask who is romantic visionary person in your life right now is it you or who are you falling in love with what is coming into your life that you are in love with could be a job or a vocation a hobby okay the story I met Jason when he and his mum moved into the upstairs apartment and he was attaining high school Jason was a romantic dreamer ever since I first met him he's had an idealistic view of changing the world there you are you might want to change the world with all your love I remember when Jason's first girlfriend broke up with him and how upset he felt well the first love and the first break is always the most dramatic now that Jason is in college I still keep tabs on him through his mum he still has ideals although he is majoring in science I was glad to hear that he had a new girlfriend and was dancing with a dance company he still has big dreams don't ever give up your dreams or goals because they will come true you will meet your soulmate just have firm roots on the ground like Jason and start again my mum used to say when you fall down then st stand up dust yourself off and start again never give up and in England they say try try again okay Pisces well I hope you have enjoyed this um, this reading and remember um, just think of it look at the tarot and the tarot shows us what we need 
and the chakras shows us where to focus on so meditate on what is personally for you that resonates with you from this reading I love you all and take care and please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when something new is uploaded or when I go live also I will be putting out notifications on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot and on uh, Instagram and on the community tab in YouTube I will put out a notification a couple of hours before and let you know how late I'm going live so keep those three places an eye on it okay keep them in your view and vision so let go and go with the flow and enjoy this coming week you have an awesome week to look forward to you've got beautiful energies use from it what you can and what you would like remember this is a general reading if you, it doesn't resonate with you look at your moon sign or your rising sign please like and share and if you would like to be number one then just keep on liking give us the thumbs up so that you can become number one and if you share with family and friends and their Pisces then you have an army behind you to make sure that you're the first one that uh, gets the reading of the week take care and uh, keep on uh, the the romance readings will be out sometime next week as well love you all and I hope to see you uh, in the live sessions Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards but I also answer questions that are supported by a donation super chat or super sticker and you can find the information below the video in the description box or click on that white circle like I said in the beginning then you can go to my website and you will also see Brenda she's a Reiki master reader as well we're great friends so go to her and have check it out Ciao, ciao. Love you. Bye-bye.